Hello everyone, today I'm talking about turkey. No, not that kind of turkey, the real turkey. I bet Turkish people have never heard that joke before. Anyways, I really love Turkey, I've been there many times and it's definitely one of my favorite places to go on holiday. The country is located mostly in Western Asia, but also in Southeast Europe. So what, one continent wasn't enough for you guys? The first important fact about Turkey is that it's not called Turkey, at least officially. It's actually called the Republic of Turkey. So the Republic of Turkey and the Turkish people of the Republic of Turkey... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do this for the rest of the video. Anyways, a cool thing about them is that they've taken equality for women very very seriously throughout history and it was actually one of the very first countries to give women the right to vote. Women could in fact vote in Turkey before they could in the United States and many other European countries. So thanks Turkey, thanks for giving me the right to vote. Yes, I know I have the voice of a man, but I'm still a woman on the inside. <laughs> now, Turkey is very well known for the wonderful city of Istanbul. Istanbul has been the capital of three empires, the Roman, Byzantine and the Ottoman Empire. Well, you've been around, haven't you, Istanbul? However, contrary to what many people think, Istanbul isn't the capital of Turkey, because the capital of Turkey is Ankara, so Istanbul can't be the capital. Whoa, that was really good argumentation. I should be a lawyer! Now, Turkey is without a doubt one of the most beautiful countries in the entire world. Their coastlines look like paradise, and I swear the water there is the most blue I've ever seen. Many of their beaches have also been credited with the Blue Flag, which is a European award for the best clean water. Now, I like that, because I don't like bathing in shit. Believe me, I've tried it. It's no good. <laughs> you heard it here first. Turkey has a very rich history, and in my opinion, it's one of the most interesting in the world. Two out of seven of the ancient Ancient world wonders can be found in Turkey, the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus and the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Fun fact by the way, the ancient city of Troy was located in modern day Turkey. Troy, the movie that taught me that horses can sometimes be filled with men that will try to kill you. Oh gosh, I don't even know where I'd be without that life lesson. <laughs> Furthermore, the first signs of writing were found in ancient Anatolia, so I guess Turkey kind of invented writing. Thanks, Turkey. Now I have to go to school, live in a civilized world, and be able to express my opinion in writing. All because of you! Thank you. Of course, you can't talk about Turkish history without talking about one of the greatest Turks of all time. I am, of course, talking about Ataturk, who was the founder of the modern Republic of Turkey as we know it today. He was also an important contribution to the Tur Turkish education system by building schools and making primary education free and compulsory. Ataturk was also important in giving women equal civil and political rights. The Turkish people were so fond of all the amazing things he did that there are pictures of him everywhere. So if you ever go to Turkey and you see the same picture of the same man everywhere, it's most likely Ataturk. Now one thing the Turkish people take very seriously is their dessert. One might even say that the Turkish people are masters of the art of making desserts. They have amazing ice cream, honey, kebab, although that's not a dessert, but it should be. The Turks are also very famous for their Turkish coffee, although it should be said that the Turkish people actually enjoy tea more than coffee. And did you know that Santa Claus apparently was born in Turkey? So until now in these country videos, we've established that he was born in Turkey, lives in Finland, I wonder where he was conceived. So about the Turkish people, they're such a friendly people and they're so good at trading and bargaining. So don't even try to bargain against a Turkish person because they'll always win. <laughs> and an interesting thing about Turkish people is that most of them didn't even have surnames until 1934. And anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I guess it's pretty clear that Turkey is an incredible country. Definitely go visit if you ever get the chance. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!